OCHA reports that as of last night, 100 trucks carrying humanitarian supplies arrived in Gaza from Egypt, the same volume recorded on most days since hostilities resumed on December 1. More than 120,000 liters of fuel also entered Gaza through the Rafah crossing yesterday. This is an increase from the daily average of 67,000 liters over the previous three days, but it is the bare minimum amount of fuel needed to prevent the collapse of critical services in Gaza. Limited aid distributions are taking place in Rafah Governorate. However, the intensity of hostilities and movement restrictions along main roads has largely prevented aid distributions in the rest of the Gaza Strip in recent days. There have been limited fuel deliveries to key service providers, as well as Saturday's mission to Al Ali Hospital. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of internally displaced people who arrived in Rafah in the last week continue to face extremely overcrowded conditions both inside and outside shelters. They desperately need food, water, shelter, health and protection. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency UNRWA, reports that more than 85% of Gaza's population, that's almost 1.9 million people, are now internally displaced, some of them multiple times. This includes 1.3 million displaced people who are sheltering at UNRWA facilities. Today, Karim Shalom opened as a second inspection point for aid from the UN and international NGOs. Once trucks are inspected at Karim Shalom, they must return to Egypt before crossing through Rafah into Gaza. Ocha hopes that the opening of this second inspection point, which will eliminate 100 kilometers of travel from Al Arish to Netsana, will help to expedite the entry of aid into Gaza. The video ends. Ask people to subscribe to your channel.